Greece. We are in Batak, Okay, okay. Um, so this is like a totally unplanned trip. I took a leave of work and I was supposed to go for an event, but I ended up not going. So last minute, I just called John, our tour guide from the last trip, and I planned this trip your just yesterday night. <laughs> just yeah. yesterday night to this morning. So we just got to Badagri now. We're basically going to the places we couldn't go to the last time. And now we had the first story building. So let's go inside. Yay! The foundation of the first story building in Nigeria was laid in 1842 and the house was completed in 1845. The foundation of the ancient historical lading was laid by Reverend Henry Townsend of Church Missionary Society while Reverend C. A. Goma supervised the construction of the building. This is from London. What is this pan? <laughs> she said pan. <laughs> This is the recent one, Abby. Ah! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Wow! So this one has been here since 1842. Since 1842? Yeah. Wow! There is actually controversy about this building as the houses in northern Nigeria claimed they had built some story buildings before this building was erected. Bible to the Yoruba Bible and we have both copies right here. How cool! Pictured above is Babinti Macaulay with Ajayi Crowder. Babinti fell in love with Ajayi Crowder's daughter. They got married and gave her to Abed Macaulay, who is the great grandfather of Dr. Stella Adedavo, our heroine who curbed the spread of Ebola in Nigeria. God continue to rest us so. Right here is Reverend C. A. Goma, the Reverend that supervised the construction of this building. And right here is where his wife was buried. She died the day the building was completed. That feels good. So guys, this is a safe where they used to keep money so this is some really old naira notes and coins it's pure colorless odorless and tasteless and however when the missionaries dug this wall uh, that is ever after people had actually come down to make use of the water had had different testimonies so, so this is like a miracle well yeah. so miracle if you have an ailment or any, other thing, or any disease so as long as, as, faith, long as you believe yes faith, having faith is the main thing and prayers have been answered wow was preached in Nigeria yes um, there used to be a tree here but then it fell after about 350 years and then um, the cross 
Oh, where's the cross? Let me show you. Let's go to the cross. And then the cross. Yes, the cross was erected in place of the tree. So um, every Christmas, Easter, Palm Sunday, Christians gather around here to preach. This is like an holy ground. This is called, called Nigeria, Jerusalem. And every prayer said on this ground is believed to be answered. So even though you're not here right now, I'm about to go down my nails and pray. So just believe as long as you have the faith, just say a prayer and good answer. So they are trying to plant another one. Like how long would it take to go? Uh, because when we got here, I planted it. The date and the time, then I planted it for three times. Okay. Wow. What is that and it takes a long time? Wow. What is that and it Agia tree was a 160 feet tree with a circumference of 30 feet. Christianity was first preached here by Thomas Bert Freeman in September 24, 1842. This is also the first place Christmas was celebrated in Nigeria, with Henry Townsend joining Freeman in December of that same year. My mom always tells me this thing about there being two calabashes in front of the above Badagris Palace, two calabashes standing on air with nothing holding them. So even to this body, she was like, they are here. And guys, I'm standing right in front of the Obas Palace. I cannot see any calabash. So mommy, please, where did you hear this story from? We all need an explanation, please. <laughs> Let me show you the palace. They didn't want us taking footage of the palace, so we left and moved around the city a little bit. I just poured water on myself. Like I bought the water and I was trying to open it and it just... all over me. <laughs> While moving around, we came across one of the biggest slave markets in the coast of West Africa. It is here the Landa brothers were made to swear they weren't British spies during the slave trade era. Slaves are brought from different states here first before being moved to the slave barracoons and then the point of no return. And lastly, we stopped at the Suntan Beach. But I agree some of the best beaches in the state, but sadly I lost some of my footage from the beach. going to be ending the vlog here it's been a good day i'm super exhausted i cannot wait to get home i cannot wait to see food <laughs> we wanted to stop at a book but well we couldn't all we have is suya see many much in the suya <laughs> all right so 
Um, by the way, just in case you want to come for this trip, as always, I recommend John. If in case you, the plan for the entire trip, uh, I'm going to put it down below because this is like my second time coming, so I didn't do a full tour, so I can't actually say the price per se. But I'm going to ask John, I'm going to put it down below. So thank you so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share with a friend. <laughs> Till our next vlog. Bye bye. <laughs>